comes. How's it, Mzati? What's good? What's popping? What's happening? It's that time of the day, our chance to share some amazing science and technology with you once again. Welcome to another fresh episode of TOMZ Konala on your number one channel, SABC One. Mzati for sure. E learning is the buzzword when it comes to education. With so much happening in Kamahara technology, it can only make sense of Rona, Risa to improve the way we treat Ankating. We are going to explore what it's all about in today's episode and show you some rad tools you can use to have fun while learning. So, I'm going to talk about gadgets and that's why we're excited to show you a new development from a cutting edge lab right here at Mzansi. Sabaspin is Tola Gabanzi about a homegrown app that is helping young South Africans with maths and science. Spin is born is some of our very own students who are finding it useful. Playing games does interesting things to our minds and we are going to get behind the science and benefits of Wusabiri Sadi Game as a learning method. Of course we'll also get some great advice from the special people we feature on today's show to inspire you. Make sure to tune your minds in. Here's our line up for today's episode. Find out what e-learning is all about and how it is applied for different contexts. Come with us to a school where students are using an app to learn about math and science. Discover the wonderful scientific benefits of playing games as a way of learning. Meet the first team who is developing low-cost computers for Abantbala Mzanti. Tsunagabanzi about the work of a legendary South African entrepreneur. Travel time with us to find out about the history of e-learning. Go to Cyberspace to see how you can use the virtual realm to learn. And be inspired by our guests on today's show. Let's get this party started. Some of you have heard of the term e-learning. Or how we can access it. We went to find out if Mzanti knows, so check it out. E-learning is learning online. Everybody to e-learning more internet, like Rakhon log in more internet and then require information there, a little study tips, yeah. Electrical uh, learning. The platform on the PS in the Rangazishum means how we access e-learning. The computer, smartphone, and a tablet. Through our phones, you can go to internet, cafe, even in our school library. The platform is e-learning, we can create more internet. Uh, maybe if we have a tablet, we can use our we create. Even any other phone, we can more internet. Yeah, we can create more things. Like if maybe we're under pressure, we can get stressed. We can get stressed, we can get stressed. Give us stress free after playing games. When I play game, my mind becomes faster. E-learning involves the use of electronic technology for educational purposes. This could range from anything like computer-based instructions to online or virtual education. Let's go find out more about it. New software technology has helped to advance the way in which we learn. Depending on the type of learning that needs to take place, the e-learning is an angel as dugile and can take place over many different electronic devices, like a computer, cell phones, and tablets. Many e-learning tools exist to provide additional learning resources, eco learning for abandonaba funda code. Whereas some specialize in providing full courses through online methods that enable a band to obtain a qualification from wherever in the world. Through this network, AMA students can communicate with teachers and other students without having to be in the same room. Technology, Baba. E-learning programs can not only contain valuable contextual information, but are also interactive ones, where visual materials and multimedia tools are used to improve the learning experience. Amanya have simulations and portray concepts visually or in which students can partake in things like games. That sounds like a really exciting way to learn about new stuff. Mm -hmm. To show you guys just how awesome e-learning can be, we went to check out a new app that is helping Zanta kids learn about math and science. My name is Mark Horner. I'm one of the founders of Siavula Education, um, and we're a technology company really focused on a mission of trying to make high quality education as accessible as possible. We've built something called intelligent practice. The goal is to allow learners to practice for mastery, to really push their maths and science um, grades up. 
from a learner's perspective, they go to a system online, they can access on their feature phone, on a tablet, on a, a PC, anything that's connected to the internet, um, and it'll give them unlimited questions. So it's like logging into a textbook with infinite exercises, but what's even better than that is they can do the problems, but they can also then type in the answers and get it marked immediately. So it's really important for learning when you're doing a problem to actually get the, the question marked immediately so that you can, while you're grappling with the problem, you can actually understand where you're going wrong and really build up your understanding. I went to be a forensic pathologist or a forensic scientist. That's very important because um, it can open many opportunities and correct what I'm doing. Every time I have a question, I have to work out. Then, I have Then, I have to If I write, I have to write. Then, I have the stars or the points. Then, if I wrong, I have to write. I wrong, I wrong. Then, I have to write the method. Question mark 13C plus 13C plus 13C plus 1 over 4 times 13 to the power of C minus 13 to the power of C. Answer kitu ikenya mwengwe tsong hore answer. Answer ka nele rong, then imponsa hore kente rong kai. Na kili wetsi yoko kenya design. Design ne di le rong. Le method kente 13, aka kenya 1. My answer ne sanzi be 14, then na kili le 4. I got Kenya ten. I got plus a ten. Answer ki forty no battery. Eya sa hori rebona meds different. Ba bang mo ba na ba rebona meds is it difficult? You na rebona eya sa hori rebona is really easy because if rebona is difficult, there can be fun. Then if rebona is easy, raba lento le passion or re re kope. Wow, I mean, don't you guys also think using an app to help your route to that and Twitter Ninja is an awesome idea? Well, after the break, we find out what methods developers are using to engage an audience and see some cool gadgets. When we return, Fulo Gabanzi about the scientific influence games have on the brain and Svagashele, a team who is making low-cost devices a reality. Comes. Comes. Welcome back, South Africa. You are still tuned into TOMZ, your favorite side tech show, Konalago SAPC One Mzanti for sure. And in Antara, we're exploring the amazing science and technology involving e learning. We've seen that it can be used over a whole range of different devices for different purposes. And Guti Isinata Guti Fundega Ngono. Mzanti has many brilliant scientists, and Etina, we are going to hang out with some of them to see the new low cost computers, Ubutubonaba, develop Haganjani. Having access to technology and resources is crucial for South African students, and these masterminds are making it happen. Let's take a look at what's in store for our next segment. Fulo Gabanzi about the scientific influence games have on the brain and Svagashele, a team who is making low-cost devices a reality. We know just how much our Tom's fans love playing games and Ronald Tabila Hulu Hulu we actually have some good news for you. Gamification is the new trend in e-learning and basically involves playing a game in order to obtain valuable information in the process. Sounds like a fun way to learn, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. When you do an activity that stimulates your body and mind, Hormones called endorphins are released. Le Homo Lena is a new transmitter that has the ability to send signals to the brain. Endorphins are feel-good hormones and can make a person feel calm and happy. When someone is playing an e-learning game, the activity along with the sense of accomplishment of going from one level to the next can make them feel good. While having fun playing this game, the person is also enabled to remember more information. E-learning developers are using this technology to keep students more engaged, increasing the amount of knowledge they observe, enhance the overall learning experience, and give them the opportunity to see the real application of the knowledge they receive. So we are all in love with the idea of e-learning, right? Mm -hmm. But what about those students in the country who don't have access to electronic equipment? Hmm. Luckily, we have some genius scientists by Zant who are developing a new low-cost computer that can be manufactured right here on SA Soil. Daniel 
qui dit Ramon, Vets University School of Physics. Le projet est Rélim Bizika et Anamo School of Physics qui a eu un mini PC. Un mini PC qui est le seul à se faire la haka qui est très riche. Et il est à low cost et il offre une high quality as well. Il consomme low power, less energy as well. So the idea of having this uh, is to do more searches in our schools, not only uh, basic education, even high uh, learning education. Scientific development of these, it's mainly involved physics, electrical engineering, and psychology as well. The hardware specification said the Moyona in a Intel Atom processor, in a 500 gig hard drive, in a 2 gig of RAM as well, Mohoyon. Looking at this side, Renale, a port of power, more power and PC, a how, a network, a HDMI for display, and uh, this is a hard drive, you power it here, then find the data, where the data uh, cable will be connected. These are the normal uh, input connectors that you get in the PC. Educational system, Yamo, South Africa, it will benefit the AR. Repeat la lohor di kolo tse di ntsere di fa di computer ga re fa di computer ga re ba fele support e inafo ya hore re ba thusa in case so di nale di problem se di computer tse eh mostly di computer tse ba fana nga tsona ke international brand so rona ya ka re locally re le fa the supply support ya 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 computer tsa rena e tlo go nna eh bofef hore re ba fihlelle ka nako ena re tlo nna le se re sibitsang help help desk so that Bakonor Barifichelle Barfogne. We will be using this by donating them to different schools in our neighboring uh, places around, around Gauteng. Our project is mainly in, uh, based on Gauteng before we can expand our uh, donation services to many other schools. Honayalon stage is a repeatable Rele Mohosona, it's a pilot phase. Elong Hore project Diarna e Mohosona. Pilot phase A, it will have two sagara redonate that is the, the mini PC called the the different around how thing. Then uh, repeat a little hore mohoyana, a two saga ho evaluator uh, our mini PCs, reconor record the reports or the experience, the, yeah, 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 but the Risi Elim ba baruta bana kana eh bana ba skolo ba re bolela gore e re tshwara yang a ya ba berekela ke mofuta wa computer leng gore ba e tlhoka ke ntse leng gore se se ba bona se tlhoka hala hape gore se ka itiwa mo go yona ga o lebella mona go ntsa gona anong eh re phitlela le gore technology e e e e fokotsa eh size e ne le gore re ntse re na le ona pele re leveletse go save space Space is the main issue. Hana no repeat la reza size e nyan o hore kasi repeat la re reshota space mo di office in zarona kana mo di laboratory zarena. Lo hore how we repeat la robot la hui shifta or we move la to another positions wa sokola o thoka mata amanti ole mo mo fela ono shuga kono roiti ya it's flexible it's portable. Kaje kubi celebrates a young South African who's helped to make it possible for Batwana Hayaruna to obtain legitimate education on an online platform. Do you know who this entrepreneur might be? Co-founder of Get Smarter. I don't know. I, I don't know. The co-founder of Get Smarter is Sam Petrock. Sam Petrock is a young South African entrepreneur who co-founded the online learning platform Get Smarter along Lobabake in 2008. This education company has to date trained more than 13,000 students and helps to bring access to quality education to South Africans. This young pioneer, Ukolubuti, in shaking things up and improving outdated methods of thinking, he is also a member of the Growth Academy, a project that aims to train digital artisans in township communities and gives scholarship to previously disadvantaged students. In 2013, he was named as one of 200 notable young South Africans who are making their mark. We celebrate the work he has done in helping to improve the way we learn. Harukutla, we find out how e-learning has evolved over time. Ibile Harukutla retweeted about the benefits of the math and science application. Okay, was Buza Guti the whole idea of e-learning in Kalepi? No Guti ne impact engaganani in South African youth. Stay tuned as we find out after the break. Hey, them 
Zanti, glad to see you're still here, Lerona Motio MZ, the most amazing psychic entertainment show. It will tell a lie exclusively on ACBC One, Mzanti, for sure. Uh -huh, that is right, and Namtlanje, we're exploring the wonderful world of e-learning. We've seen that it can be used for different types of learning, and that using games to teach is actually a great way to bring across information. We've also seen the development of a new red low-cost computer, and we're going to talk about more about the benefits of a math and science application. And in Jeng and Jaya, we've got social session later on, so don't be shy to leave us a tweet or a comment on our social media pages. So for now, I'll be able to Let's go. Okay, what's Buza Guti? The whole idea of e-learning is Kalepi. No Guti ne impact in Gaganaani in South African youth. For hundreds of years, teachers have strived to improve the way in which we learn. When e-learning came onto the scene, the world of virtual learning blossomed and education became available to a whole new audience. In the 1960s, Stanford University professors experimented with the use of computers to teach math to elementary school children. 1976 saw the release of the television station called KOCE TV, which enabled long distance learning. By 1994, the first online high school was founded and Cal Campus was formed, allowing real time classroom instructions to be carried over the web. With the improvement of internet functionality and the invention of the webcam, online learning schemes spread quickly. Tudong was the first sustained online educational portal, Lion Zanzi, containing a wide range of curriculum and learner support materials. Many other online educational programs have since been founded on Mzansi soil. We've seen how learners and teachers are using this application to further education in maths and science, and now it's time to find out how this system comes together. Check this out. A typical maths question will look something like this. Uh, this is for finance. It's a long story where it's about somebody who wants to buy something and they don't have enough money, so they start to save up, and it's how much money are they putting away, what interest rate are they getting, and so you have to unpack it all and work out whether or not they're going to save up enough money for the problem. It takes quite a long time to make this problem as well as make up the model solution for it. What our system does actually is it, it takes this question and it turns it into a template. So we can generate many types of questions that are testing exactly the same skills. So for example, this question, we can change all of the numbers and actually the names, the objects, etc. So everything I've, that's highlighted in blue here is actually generated from the template. So we can make many questions that involve all of the same skills where everything that's circled here actually changes changes. So the system generates the problem, it also generates the right model solution. So a learner sees the problem, they work it out on paper, they type in the answers, either the final answer or various steps along the way, and we mark it immediately. So they get that immediate feedback so that they know whether they're going right or not and they can really assess um, what mistakes they're making. Every template is actually linked to a map of all of the underlying concepts. So the learners don't really see this when they're going through it, they're just seeing questions that they need to do. But every time they do a question, and we know whether they got it right or not, we learn something about which of the concept nodes or special cases or misconceptions they may or may not have mastered. So statistically, after they've done a few questions, we can start to determine the level at which they are on each of the different topics. So whenever they click next question on the system, the system takes all of that stuff into account to figure out which is the optimal question to give them next, given what they do or don't understand. So the learner gets a dashboard with they can see their progress. And all they've got to do is continue practicing. Everyone will continue to go up um, until they've mastered all of the concepts in the curriculum, all of the chapters, and they can set their own goal and track their progress. And because it's web-based, learners can work um, in, at school or at home on whatever device is possible um, in a, in a um, internet cafe, in a library, etc. But all of that data from all of their practice is actually in one place. So they're getting, the, the teachers are getting the benefit of all of that information, learners are getting the benefit of all of that information. Um, so we think it can really, really go a long way to helping learners master maths and science. It's Katsik Socialize. And this is what we call Social Session Konalagutio MZ. Lasikulumanani via our Facebook and Twitter pages. So I want to feel good. You guys are actually loving the idea of e learning and in Fungus Zamela Nina, which is quite awesome. There's a lot of avenues that have been changing so on a little bit later on the show with cyberspace, so stick around. Well, good Facebook, Namtaja. We have Ngosi who says he loves learning but lives far out in the sticks and can't afford to further infundo yake. Ngosi, e learning is exactly what you need. Unama courses online that you can access, Futi Agniga Ama certificates afterwards, which you can put on your CV. Unama skills Amasha. 
some are free as Zinia come at a cost, even those are much cheaper than physical educational institutes. Lieutenant Kenya and OT, I'm in love with science and technology and I cannot get enough of TOMZ. Oh, well, see you all TOMZ fans. Now, as my fans, we love hanging out with you guys because you guys are awesome. To make sure that you guys stay inspired, as is when we am a guest way to ask Patele advice in chat. Ke batla ro go lona ba botlhe ba ba batlang go etsa ba ba tlo iphitlhela ba tshwana le nna ka gongwe eh le ka etsa dikhoso tse dintsi nna ke ke ditse IT software engineering or software development le ka etsa dikhoso tse dintsi IT e na le di lot of variety so ka di etsa dikhoso tsa teng I'm a physicist I studied physics uh, the thing that got me really excited about science was actually trying to understand simple things like the rainbow like really funky stuff that you see in the world around you um, but in in learning science you learn how to solve problems and so because I pursued a career in physics I've learned a lot about programming problem solving critical thinking skills help build the company Siavula with the product intelligent practice it's really exciting not really what I had in mind what it really highlights is that maths and science is actually fundamental to so many things that we do. One of my favorite things is the laser. And it was um, it's a simple prediction by a physicist that actually now is ubiquitous. It's used in all of the different types of technology and helped to create all the technology that we use in our lives around us. And you can see the real impact that technology has had on everything that you do. Just take out your cell phone. There's tons of science in there. It's really really exciting. Whenever you are looking for a great collection of South African educational material, you have to check out www.tudong.do.gov.za. Their website has all the info you need on the curriculum and exams, as well as massive collection of learning materials that can help you with any school subject. For those of you in search of quick and easy access to help and resources, the PhotoMath app is the way to go. The app can help you scan math equations and it will automatically solve it for you, providing step-by-step -step explanations of how it is done. It is a great track record and has helped thousands of school students and teachers with their educational journey. For more information on these apps and things on today's show, go on to our website at www.toms.co.za. And that marks the end of our show. In Paling Pele Rutamaya, let's recap all the things that we learned and saw today. So, what e-learning is all about, Noguti is searching this Swaganjan. We hang out with some cool students and teachers to learn more about the benefits of an app that helps to teach science and math. We want about the benefits of games and the brain. Noguti, why is it helpful to use games and learning? We discover the amazing low-cost computers made by South African team. We celebrate the life and works of a pioneer in education. A quick peek into the history of e-learning gave us an insight on its development. We explored ways in which you can access virtual tools for learning. And our guest blew us away with great advice. If you want to know more, go on to our website at www.tomz.co.za and follow the link. It's been a wonderful journey with you guys this afternoon. Be sure to keep learning and remember to tune in next time. Same time, same place. Goodbye. Mwah. Next time on Tom's. Join the Tom's presenters as they learn all about Litswai. We treat the whole Litswai Lona Litswai Hokai. Watch Tom's every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. right here on SCBC One Nzanti for sure.